Portugal's centre-right coalition government under Prime Minister Pedro Pachos Coelho has won another four-year term. In what was seen as a test of tough austerity measures, he's the first leader in Europe to be re-elected after having imposed hardships on voters under international bailout deals. However, Pachos Coelho has lost his overall parliamentary majority. Já... Speaking to supporters, Portugal's Prime Minister said he had already spoken with his coalition partner to organise as quickly as possible national meetings of the parties in order to formalise a government agreement, which is the basis of the centre-right coalition. Sunday's results have the government on nearly 37 per cent, compared to just over 32 per cent for the main opposition centre-left socialists. That translates into 99 seats and 85 seats respectively. It means the government will be outnumbered in the 230-seat chamber, making the prospect of political instability extremely likely. Socialist leader Antonio Costa, who had promised to ease austerity, warned the next government it will have to change its conduct. He also denied reports he was quitting, which delighted supporters. Bom, manifestamente não me vou admitir. Vou cumprir. Another winner on the night was Portugal's left bloc. They had their best ever result, garnering 10% of votes, increasing their seats in Parliament from 8 to 19. Their spokeswoman, Catarina Martins, immediately rejected any thought of propping up a government made up with deputies from the right.